During a sentencing hearing in the Supreme Court, Justice Carlisle Greaves imposed the prison sentence totaling 13 and a half years. Asked beforehand in the court if he had anything to say for himself, a subdued-looking Mabry told the judge, quote, I don't have nothing to say. It's important to note that the 24-year-old was sentenced for escaping lawful custody and for shooting at rival gang members. Looking at the first incident taking place last December 18th at the captain's lounge on Reed Street, the court heard that Mabry, along with fellow members of the 42nd gang, got into an altercation with members from the rival Parkside crew. Outside of the bar, he shot a gun at his rivals. However, none were injured. The weapon was later recovered. Mabry's guilt was sealed thanks to recovered video footage found on his cell phone, which he recorded, showing him wielding a gun and announcing his plans to bring deadly violence against his opponents. And in July, as he was being led out of magistrate's court in prison custody, he bolted, running into the traffic and was at large for around two weeks. Adding insult to injury, he taunted authorities via the popular website Facebook. Police were able to capture him at a wooden shed at a secret lane home on Glebe Road in Pembroke. Defense lawyer Llewellyn Penniston urged the judge not to listen to the politics surrounding the case, and he attacked the prosecution for making Mabry what he called a scapegoat and for bringing the escape case to the Supreme Court where they knew he would face more time in prison. Furthermore, the lawyer attempting to mitigate the crimes by stating the bottom of his client's life had fallen out through the death of several family members, including his mother and stepfather at a young age. Struggling with his Christian faith, Mr. Pennison claimed his value system was distorted by his circumstances. The court heard of Mabry's lengthy criminal history, including convictions for having sex with a minor, drug possession, housebreaking, and assault on a female. Additionally, he was caught smuggling contraband into prison. I'm Tarai Trot reporting for Bermuda Broadcasting News.